came on with the body yada yada. How many candles is that? What? Maybe five? Four? I don't know. Just see those bells jingling, ring, jingle, jingle, Welcome back. So today, um, I was going through some albums, some photo albums that I have, um, and some photos that I'm trying to organize. And I figured, you know, why not take y'all down memory lane with me? So I'm going to um, be going through some photos, some old photos, and I kind of just want to, like, you know, have a little laugh. So I'm just organizing pictures in albums and stuff. So. We're just gonna go through, have a good laugh, go down memory lane, and yeah. I started already. I started organizing like this is my ow. This is my brother's um, old photo. This is his birthday party. Why is this missing something? Yeah, this is his old. I don't even know how old he was here. How many candles is that? What? Maybe five? Four? I don't know, but he's young. He's young. He's young. Yeah, this is him all dressed up in white. His all white with his pink bows. I don't know who my parents thought they were. Dressing my brother. Looking all spiffy. All spiffy. I'm dead. He looks cute. He looks cute. But what we're not gonna do, what we're not gonna do, is pretend like stripes and plaid are supposed to be together I don't know who told them but that's just I don't know why and look you see those eyes you see how he's looking at the camera trying to smile and things my brother's trying to be a model guys a model a whole model anywho we're gonna keep organizing we're gonna... <laughs> so... yo so every time I see this picture I die laughing so basically this is when we were at Canada's Wonderland I want to say for the first time and my dad and my aunt look like they're about to lose their guts and their head my mom looks like she's having a grand old time and i look like i'm seeing the coming of jesus because i don't know if y'all can see behind but my eyes are popping out of my skull that's hilarious some of these i don't necessarily have space to put them because they're so big but So this is a picture from grade eight and I don't know why they didn't want me to be great. Two of my best friends actually went to elementary school with me. Shout out Rihanna and Manish. But they weren't trying to see us be great. So we weren't even in class together. And yeah, I think I'm the only black girl here. That school literally had like two and a half black students. <laughs> Like for real, this is when I first like not first came to Canada. We came to Canada when I was in like grade two or something. But this is when we actually came and stayed, and that was a trip. Anyhow, little Shanice baby Shan, 1999, when I was four years old. That smile is so cute. And I don't know why my mom wanted to disrespect me with this one. Why is my hair sticking out like that? Kind of funny i'm in a pink shirt in this and i have my hair in two braids and like i'm in pink and i have my hair in a braid right now um but i look really sad like i don't look like i was really feeling i think you know why it's probably because my hair wasn't popping my mom disrespected me in that photo so that's probably why i was cheesed this is when we went to montreal and what on earth am i wearing uh, like, I don't know why no one told me that I wasn't cute. Like, no one could put me in proper clothes. Like, white cargo shorts, white jacket, white slippers, striped orange, purple, black and white top, pink and purple and black bag. Like, and I used to love that bag, you know. I remember that bag. That was, like, my go-to, go-to bag. This is an embarrassment. And that weave, baby girl. My mom couldn't bless me? Oh my god. This weave is not it. Nor are those glasses. And why does my lip look dry? Shout out my 
grandparents go one time, one time, one time. But that, that is, um, we're just gonna move right along from that. Yeah, see, again, the, the constant disrespect is that, what kind of hairstyle is this? And I showed my mom this picture earlier and she's just like, it's just the clothes, you know, if you change the clothes or take off that jacket, the hairstyle isn't that bad. No. No, it's tragic. Is what it is. You know, look, a one-two edges, she couldn't even give me the one. You know those when you brush it down and you just scoop it down with the comb one time and it's not the greatest look of edges, but like, you could have at least gave me that. You could have at least gave me that. <laughs> Aww. One thing about me guys, I used to love making notes and writing poems and songs for my parents, especially my mom. And like, this is one of the drawings I did. <laughs> and I never knew how to draw arms, so I would always draw them like their, their hands were in pockets. But where the elbow joint is, don't ask me because I really couldn't tell you. No teacher! Why does my brother look like that? What was he thinking? Nah, he looks possessed. <laughs> I'm dead. And I used to love candy. Oh, strike a pose. Mm. Yes. Me and my big bro. There's a picture of bit like just my mom's ass. Like why who took this? We're not even gonna ask who took it. We know who took it. I don't need to be exposed to that. It's disrespectful that that's in here. Okay with the bubble dress. This is grade eight grad. I actually love that dress. That was from Laura's Petite. And my mom forced me to wear stockings with a pink toe shoe even though I told her that people don't do that at that age. And she forced me, she forced me, but you know what? After we had dinner and everything, I went to the bathroom and I took it off and I put it in my bag. My friends were like, wow, Shanice, you're so loud. I was like, I know. <laughs> All for taking off some stockings, I'm dead. Again, with the no edges. My mom could have given me edges. We're gonna have to have a conversation because at this point I'm realizing the trend that she did not disrespect. She didn't respect me as her daughter. Like where's the edges and no one could teach me how to stand how to pose <sighs> i'm just stressed out guys i'm just stressed out again with the disrespect this was at my brother's graduation from high school in jamaica i believe and this was a fun day i, I actually enjoyed that but like I used to love this little suit thing. That little skirt and I were friends and those shoes. I used to love those shoes. But again, what's happening with my hair? I don't mean to keep roasting myself, but like I just need to ask these questions out loud because like what's happening? I don't understand like why I wasn't respected more in my upbringing. Wow, you know these pictures are old when. Well, this is in St. Elizabeth in Jamaica. My dad's old house. I used to love going to St. Elizabeth, taking those road trips. We'd always listen to Bob Marley on the way or Elton John. My dad's old vehicle. I don't even know what that is. I'm not good with cars. And who told my dad to be wearing no sombrero? I'm dead, looking like a real farmer. <laughs> This was when my dad was in university. Like a stosh boy. Aww. Tis my great grandmother and my grandma on my dad's side. They're both gone now. My great grandma is the one with the long hair. Granny. I didn't know her long, but I hear she was a feisty one. <laughs> Even if 
you're watching, I'm sorry in advance, but this is my cousin. And he used to hate me, y'all. He used to tell me to leave him alone all the time when he was a baby. Like when he was like two and he couldn't even talk to me, he'd be like, leave me alone, leave me alone. And I would always like pick him up and like tickle him and play with him because I love babies. I've always loved babies. And like when he was a baby, I was like, oh my God, like a baby, finally. And he was so chunky and cute. He hated me. He only liked my cousin, Brittany. And I was in my feelings about that because like, how could you not like me? I'm lit, I'm lit. But you want me to leave you alone. We're best friends now though. We're best friends now though. Ah. I wanna say I was two here. I wanna say I was two. I hate that there's no ages on this. My mom used to love putting my hair in two and pigtails, eh? This is like one of my favorite pictures. Like there's so many copies of these, like those wallet size copies lying around the house. But I used to love these pictures. My lips are a little dry though. Yeah, I could have used some baby oil Vaseline or something. But I'm cute. I don't care what nobody says, my cute little big head. Cute little big head. Okay, mom with the body on yard. I'm not gonna show you that because like I don't want her to pimp slap me into next week. But you just know my mom was snatched. My mom was snatched. Going through pictures is so nice. Like I just you just it's like sometimes you look at a picture and it literally takes you back to the moment that you were at. And you can remember everything about that day, about that person in that moment. Or sometimes people who've passed, like you look at pictures of them and you're like, oh, I remember, you know, how they made you feel. You know? So exciting sometimes when you look at certain pictures. You're like, oh, those were good times. Those were good times. Fun fact. Me and my brother looked alike when we were kids. So question. Who is this? Me or my brother? Based on what I said before, you should probably know. Um, but yeah, me and my brother, comment in this comment section um, who you think it is, if it's me or if it's my brother Gio. Also, since we're on the topic of comment sections and stuff, hit the thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Baby Gio's cute. Baby Gio's cute. What happened? What happened? <laughs> And yo, parents are so disrespectful. Like, they take pictures of naked newborns and, like, literally frame them. Like, what? I'm not gonna disrespect whoever this is. I don't even know if it's me or my brother, but whoever it is. Yeah, we didn't need to be disrespected like that. That's my cousins. Yes, baby Chan. I'm so cute. I'm so cute, guys. My kids made some cute kids. My kids. My parents made some cute kids. Yes, we rode an elephant. I think this was in Florida. My mom said the elephant smelled bad, but I don't remember it at all. If I didn't see this picture, I would have never known that I rode an elephant. Maybe that's why I like elephants so much. I do like elephants. The elephants. And ballet shan, ballerina shan. I remember this recital, my mom was pissed. She's like, all they did was make you do first position, second position, and clap a whole bunch of times. She wasn't having it. She wasn't having it. Oh wow, I was excited here. Very excited. And why am I smiling so aggressively? I actually posted this picture on my story the other day. If y'all follow me on Instagram, you probably know that. But yeah, that's kind of funny. But yeah, you know, that's, it's memory lane, guys. That's memory lane. Just a little snippet. I gotta put these into the trusty album, organize them in categories because I like to be organized and I have like dividers and everything that I'm like trying to do. Um, I need to actually go finish that. I'm actually in the middle of watching Love Island right now too. Um, season two, Las Vegas. If y'all watch that show, comment down below. Tell me how you like it. Mackenzie's annoying. That's all I know. That's really all I know right now. Mackenzie pisses me off. Connor is a mess. Trey is annoying. Um, Justine needs to scoop her edges. What else? 
I'm glad Caitlyn's gone. Johnny's adorable. Sally's cute. Yeah, and Lauren's um, a wild card. I don't know how I feel about her yet. And Moira needs to, Moira needs to mind her business. But anywho, I digress. I'm gonna go finish putting this album together and finish watching Love Island. So yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for coming down memory lane with me. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.